Hey, you guys. So we're back today. Um, I pretty much gave y'all all the updates. So let's get right into this video. All right. So today, our first topic is going to be a potential Cardi B and Little Kim collab. I'm so excited to, you know what I'm saying, hear. Um, I would be so excited to hear that. You know, there's been news back and forth. You know what I'm saying? People have been wanting it. You know what I'm saying? And then even Mariah Carey talked about having Lil' Kim and Cardi B on a record together. And this, that, and the other. And, um, you know, they had, Cardi was on live and Lindsay Lohan came and said that her and Lil' Kim need to do a song together. And, um, I mean, I, it was going to happen before anyways. I ain't just going to sit here and give all the white girl, the, the white girl all the props. But, you know what I'm saying? I guess she, that's one good thing that Lindsay Lohan did. That's one true thing that she said right and did right. But nonetheless, um, Cardi was talking about it. She just said it needs to be the right timing and the right. She already knows what kind of sound she wants for her and Kim, but it needs to be the right timing, this, that, and the other. So I would definitely be down for to watch that and see that. But um, with that being said, let me take these damn socks off. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, I would definitely be down for that. You know what I'm saying? As far as Lil' Kim is concerned, the only thing... And then I would also need Cardi and Remy to do some shit, too, because they've been talking about doing some stuff. They just got to get together. And it sounds to me like the reason why it's taking so long is because they're actually trying to be in the studio together. I, I would prefer... That is the only thing I beg. Y'all, please be in the studio together, and we need about a three, four-minute song. Don't give us no two-minute song. Like, I like the song with Lil' Kim and Dream Dog. And, you know, that's in Dream Doll's control of how long the song is. But it was only two minutes long. You know what I'm saying? But I know Kim is shooting a music video to that now. So she's busy with that. They're busy with other things. You know what I'm saying? They on their grown shit. They ain't just a music artist. They got other businesses and stuff. Cardi B got Fashion Nova. Remy Ma got State of the Culture. Remy Ma has her own clothing line um, in support of, you know, women who have been incarcerated. Um... Lil' Kim got shit going on. She's prepping for the album. Remy is pregnant. She's prepping for her album. Cardi B shooting the music video. So they got stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? So I understand it's hard to get together. But I'm hoping and assuming that's the reason why it's taking so long. And you know what I'm saying? The only thing I would say with Kim and Remy is a little bit more consistency. Granted, Remy's pregnant, so she can, you know, use that if need be. But Lil' Kim, I would say more consistency. I don't know if it's her management or whatever it is. But, um, like, that go-off song, it should have been out by now. You know what I'm saying? I do like the Nasty One remix. I'm mad I took so long to listen to it. But I love that remix, you know. Nasty is one, nasty is one, yeah. Let me relax. <laughs> but I love that remix. Oh, my God. They did the damn thing there. Um, but with that being said, um, they should definitely shoot a video for that. But um, that would be gay. Um, but with that being said, um, so, yeah. Cardi and Kim, we might get a collab from them. I, you know, I like how Cardi has always showed genuine love to the women before and after her. You know what I'm saying? She's also doing the video, I know, with uh, City Girls. Ooh, excuse me. Um, um, the twerk video. She was doing that the other day. And um, in true Cardi fashion, I pretty much assumed, I didn't think they would do it on the beach, but I, I pretty much assumed she was, the pussy, the, the pussy wild lion, she was going to have some form of a lion or tiger or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, she probably wanted to paint herself with it because when she tried to do Bodak Yellow, the video for that, and had the the real lion, the lion scared the dog shit out of her and um, got angry and it scared the shit out of her. So, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Go with the body paint part, Cardi. It's smart. Um, think smarter, not harder. <laughs> but with that being said, that would be interesting to see their collab together. And, um, you know what I'm saying? That, that would be some good heat. You know what I'm saying? With the streets, the you know, the streets, the mainstream, that would be good for everybody. So with that being said, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, moving on from there. Um Kevin Hart refuses to apologize for the same tweets. So uh, same old tweets. So we're gonna talk about that next. So Kevin Hart, for those y'all who don't know, or if y'all do know, oh well, we talk about the shit anyways. <laughs> so he was invited to host the Oscars and he was given the ultimatum from the Academy to apologize for his old homophobic tweets or he might not get to host it pretty sure he pretty pretty much he won't be able to um if he doesn't apologize so with that being said let me read y'all the tweets real quick all right so this one is Dwayne Wayne um you should ask the question little this how many gay men sweat when they wear dress shirts because real men don't LMAO PS fag that was July 19th, or July 18th, 2009. 
This next one is why does Wayne 215 have so many pictures of me in his phone? What are you some type of fat fag who takes that takes pics of small black men all day? And that's July 22nd, 2009. Um, this one says, why does Damien DW profile pic look like a gay billboard for ads? Dot, 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 boom, I'm on fire tonight. That's January 20th, 2010. And then this one says, yo, if my son comes home and tries to play with my daughter's dollhouse, I'm going to break it over his head and say, my boy, stop, that's gay. And that was January 11th, 2011. Now, so those were all like almost 10 year old tweets, right? All right. Now, with that being said, for those of y'all who don't know, um, I'm about to give y'all my view on that, but for those, um, those of y'all who don't know, for one, I want to make it very clear, I, I don't have much respect, if at all, for Kevin Hart. I'm not really, you know what I'm saying, for one, he's very hit and miss with his comedy for me, you know what I'm saying, but I checked out a long time ago. You know, I used to watch the Real Husbands of Hollywood or whatever show that he had with, you know, uh... All the men and shit, Nelly and Robin Thicke and all of them. Um, I watched that up until maybe season four, and then after that, I started getting shaky. Then I just stopped watching it. Um, so I did watch that show. You know what I'm saying? I haven't watched too many of his specials. Um, but um, as far as I'm concerned, he's one of those men that I just put on that list. You know what I'm saying? My reasons for his, for my disdain towards him, uh, they have nothing to do with these tweets. I didn't even know about these tweets. You know what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, the only one that really bothers me, being a black man, you know what I'm saying, and um, being a black man in a black family, you know what I'm saying, is the, the one about his son, you know what I'm saying, and then the actions that he would take against that. I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? But for me, the actual... Um, but for me, the actual... Um, For me, the actual one, uh, I'm sorry, I was seeing here real quick, um, all right, uh, my bad, I was watching some, but nonetheless, um, his his tweets uh, as of either last year or the year before last or whatever the fuck, where he said that light skinned women tend to have more credit or better credit than dark skinned women. Then he said dot 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 burnt ass broke bitches or something like that. And then dot 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 lol. Um, it's very disheartening for me to see that a lot of times, you know, even men who are in my life who are darker than me. To see me fight harder for dark skinned women, you know what I'm saying, than them. It's very disheartening. You know what I'm saying? It's very nasty, you know what I'm saying, for me to see shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of times when people ask, well, why don't you fuck with so and so? Or why don't you fuck with this, that person? It's because I actually do my research on artists before I just start throwing in my support. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with these companies. You know what I'm saying? If or if something happens, and you have some questionable shit. I'm not doing your shit. Like, I've talked about this before with the Waffle House situation, with the um, Starbucks situation, um, the Dove situation. You know what I'm saying? The H&M, coolest monkey in the jungle situation. And that's a funny thing. Black men, dark skinned men in particular, they will notice when it happens and they will call it out when it happens to them and their sons. They We'll notice it then. But when it happens to dark skinned women, it's oh you're bitching, oh you're complaining, oh you're moaning and groaning. Oh, there's more important things to be talked about. I hate when people do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the world has an importance. Every conversation in the world uh, not every conversation in the world needs to be had, but everything, you know what I'm saying, has a place. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, um, so they notice when it's fucking them. Just like when the Dwayne the Wade or um what or when the when the rock shit. The rock. When he was casted as um Henry I forgot the damn Henry Ford. I, nah, that's not the damn name. My bad. I fucked that up. I can't remember the damn last name, but he was casted as Henry, who um the the childhood fictional character who was usually in the past always casted as a dark skinned male. You know what I'm saying? Um and you know Dark skinned men, they notice that though. You know what I'm saying? They notice that. You know, they don't quite, they don't, and a lot of them kind of play dumb.
they don't quite notice you know, or not quite say it as eloquently as dark skinned women will call stuff out. You know what I'm saying? But they'll say, nah, bro, you could have picked somebody else or what was, where was so-and-so at, you know what I'm saying? Or this, that, and the other, you know what I'm saying? So they kind of play it down like a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But you seen, we seen the black lash, backlash from that shit, you know what I'm saying? If any of y'all seen those pictures, if any of y'all seen the shade room posting about it, you know what I'm saying? Him playing that character who's usually a dark skinned man, you know what I'm saying? That need to have that, um, the need to have that picture or that image of dark skinned men that society will put out. Um, you know what I'm saying? The the quote unquote sexiness, the the dark skin, the muscles, the all that stuff. You know, just that and the, you know, just that and a third. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of them, you know what I'm saying, and not even just dark skinned men, but men in general have an issue with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Um Hence the term light skin, you know, or the light skin feelings, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a big whirlpool of when it comes to colorism of shit. But with that being said, that's my main issue with Kevin Hart, and I do take issue with the you know son um, breaking with the taking a dollhouse and breaking it over your son's head. You know what I'm saying? And then berating him. I have a fucking issue with that. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things where I draw the line between artists and artistry, which is why I don't have to worry about shit like this. I run into, if something happens, it's one thing, but I will go watch your interviews. I will stalk you and I will see what the fuck you've done in your past. And there's certain things I have a line that you don't cross and a line that you can't cross or lines that you can't cross and lines that you don't cross. R. Kelly is on the, you crossed it. He crossed it. I would probably be one of the few black people ever if I do get married to not play one fucking R. Kelly song at my wedding. And we ain't stepping in the name of love. Hell. Pissed on the damn girl. And then not to mention, he's still doing weird ass shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, you know what I'm saying? Here's where I'll give a little leeway when it comes to consideration of R. Kelly. K. Michelle, for those of y'all who don't know, an artist that I'm very fond of, she, she, you know, she listens to her, her stories, her fights in the music industry, how she really does fight for our music genres to, you know, stay ours, you know what I'm saying? Um, she's talked about how we get sent to the lesser radio stations, and, you know, while, meanwhile, Katy Perry can be played on any station, her and her, 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 her um, Dark Horse song, you know what I'm saying? If she could do that, why can't K. Michelle sing a country song, you know, so she talked about, you know what I'm saying, different, you know, endeavors and, you know, fights and struggles in the music industry, and I was to have nothing but respect for her to be open and vocal about it and honest, because most people would be scared pussy, or scared shitless, and pussy as fuck to do, too pussy to do that, so with that being said, you know, I take my hats off to her for that, but I remember watching an interview that she had with Jason Lee, where she talked about things that went on in the house with R. Kelly, and you could tell, like, some things didn't sit right with her. I don't know. I'm not saying that she necessarily seen any woman get abused or peed on or whatever the fuck. But she did. Even this one story she talked about, this man chilling, um, this man, um, or she talked about this tub, or the, not tub, but this glass, you know, confinement thing or whatever that he has. And there's women in the glass. And when men walk by, the women ignore them. But when women come up to it, um, they'll like, you know, if you touch the glass, the women will come to you as if they're like fish or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? And she just said like, she would, I, I know that she seen, she lived with him, you know, for those of y'all who know, she did live with him and he taught her how to write and this, any other. So while, you know, some people would be like, what the fuck? How can you defend him? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my psychology class, I want to thank my teacher, Miss Shine. She has given me such a Granted, I mean, anybody could have taught that psychology lesson uh, class, but she has given me her teaching that and the way she did teach it and her allowing us to have open dialogue. It really fucking gave me, you know, a clearer perspective on stuff and me be able to take myself and put myself in the people's shoes and all that stuff. So with that being said, real props to Miss Shine, the realest teacher, the best teacher at Augusta Tech. I'm calling it out now. So with that being said, um, back to what I was saying, though. Now, um, I understand people having an issue with her keeping what she knows to herself, you know what I'm saying, in defense of him. And I don't, you know, I don't feel peachy clean about it neither. However, I also know her situation with the whole Memphis situation where she came out 
and you know what I'm saying, she, when she came out, and um, to R. Kelly, in her eyes, he saved her, you know what I'm saying, she said it herself, you know what I'm saying, that man saved her, you know what I'm saying, she was stuck in a bad deal, Memphis was taking all her, Memphis was taking all her money, you know what I'm saying, doing God knows what with it, you know what I'm saying, then he finally, the straw broke the camel's back, he hit her, or whatever he did, abused her, you know what I'm saying, and then you had people saying that she was lying to this and the other. She couldn't get out of her record deal. He saved her. You know what I'm saying? He took her in, took her, and t- showed her how to write. You know what I'm saying? He even had this one interesting piece of advice, which probably be the only advice from R. Kelly I'd ever take in my life. He said, never change clothes while you're doing a song. Whatever you, whatever, um, whatever clothing you was wearing, when you started writing it, you finished in them clothes. So, um... You know what I'm saying? That's a bit extreme because, I mean, if, if, if music is how you eat, well, then that's fine. But uh, I got other shit to do, so I might have to change on that. But once I really get into my career, I might actually take that piece of advice with me, Mr. Pissy. Yeah, that was kind of nice. But with that being said, um, so I, because she looks at him as a savior, you know, I know how I felt, you know what I'm saying, in the past, wanting somebody to save me, you know what I'm saying, from certain situations. So because of that, I can kind of overlook the support of R. Kelly with K. Michelle, or the support that K. Michelle, or or the defending of R. Kelly by K. Michelle, because she personally knows him. She personally feels like he saved her. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's black people who just, you know what I'm saying, just for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying, um, like, I don't know him still buying tickets and all this shit nah that's different that's that's not for me no that's not I, I can't support that shit you know what I'm saying um hell my mom even said something about you know what I'm saying him managing my sister or something my singer, sister does singing and uh that was disturbing you know what I'm saying so I I just I don't you know what I'm saying I don't I don't understand why we can't cancel one person. It's fucking sad how flip-flopsy we are. And that's why these companies take advantage of us. That's why they do these promotions, racial, colorist promotions, you know what I'm saying, attacking our people because they know at the end of the day, black people, for the most part, are so flip-flopsy. Yeah, they're going to boycott it for about two fucking weeks. And then after that, they're going to be right back in H&M, right back in um, Dove, right back in Waffle House. Like, I mean, there's no point, you know, right back in Starbucks. They steady trying to get us to do these Starbucks because I've noticed last time they think they fucking slick. But Starbucks has done two commercials. There's only two commercials of Starbucks that plays when I'm watching like Hulu shows or whatever. It's both black people. And on top of that, the drinks that they gave to black people or the drinks that they're advertising are not even drinks that we fucking eat, drink. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, so I know they dying for that black dollar. You know what I'm saying? So maybe in the Starbucks situation, maybe for the most part we did pull out because I've noticed they're they're black and they are black black. They are not mixed black. They are not light skinned black. They are dark skinned black. So maybe we did with rescind our support from Starbucks well enough for them to get the picture. Possibly I could be looking too far into it. They could have just had two dark skinned people, um, in two different Starbucks commercials. But you know what I'm saying? That was telling to me to see that. Um, I still ain't buying your, sh- your, your shit, your overpriced shit. So with that being said, um, but they know that we're so flim flopsy, you know what I'm saying, flip flopsy that, you know what I'm saying, we can't just cancel, we can't even cancel our own people. You still got black people supporting Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? He can take a break from politics all he want. Uh, like I said, there's lines that you cross and lines that you don't. And I, w- one thing for me, I don't have a problem with a person who's a Republican. I have a problem with a Trump supporter. That's the issue. You know what I'm saying? There are times when if I could have voted in the past, I would have voted Republican. You know what I'm saying? Looking back at history, uh, you know what I'm saying? There are times, you know what I'm saying, certain candidates who, you know what I'm saying, they might not have been the final two. You know what I'm saying? But they could have gotten my vote, certain ones. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's about, for me, it's not about a title. It's about whose beliefs align with what I believe. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that Kanye can support him, that should automatically be a turnoff for any black person with any grain of sense in their mind. But some of y'all don't have that. Common sense is not common. So with that being said, the fact that we can't even cancel him, you know what I'm saying? It's very disturbing to me. But with that being said, um, like I said, my main issue with Kevin is the colorist comments. I don't even really too much, you know. I don't like the... um, the and 
trust and believe also, I want to make this clear, not, not defending Kevin of his actions at the time. He's apologized, so I don't really care. But he's not the first person to do that. You know what I'm saying? The girls from um, City Girls, you know, I, I, and I'm actually, I was talking to my friend earlier, and I'm surprised in, um, of how much support the City Girls are getting. You know what I'm saying? Um, in terms of their music, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I just assume right off the bat, people going to be like, oh, they just ratchet black girls that are just any other hoodlums, hood rats, whatever the fuck. But people are actually, you know, grooving to their shit. You know what I'm saying? They're getting a lot of love and support. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's the dark skin one or the dark one of darker skin, if I'm not mistaken, that's going around because JT is locked up. So young Miami, if I'm not mistaken, she's the darker one out of the two. So I definitely was like, um, I'm scared how people are going to perceive her, knowing that people have preconceived notions about dark skinned women. You know what I'm saying? Especially ones who are um, open minded and who don't care about talking freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? If they're asked in an interview or whatever the situation may be. But. You know, they're getting good reception, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, feedback on their music and people liking them and fucking with them and their fan base is growing, you know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, she said something about, um, let's see, what did she say? Let's go look this up. City Girls. Yeah, she explained that she would beat her son if she was gay. Yeah, Young Miami said she would beat her son if she was gay. Um, she said that back in 2013, and she later publicly apologized. Um, however, on November 13th, she doubled down on her statement. She was speaking with Charlemagne, and she said, I didn't tweet nothing about them. She said, um, she was talking about her son. She just said, if she said, if she saw anything gay in her son, that she would beat him. She, and then she tried to compare it to, if you break my table, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. That don't mean she's going to beat the shit out of you. She's just saying it. I, I don't, um, yeah, she's, and she, you know what I'm saying? One thing that I will give her, I don't know how her apology was. This is why I can't fully give her this. But she said, I have absolutely nothing against gay people, but I wouldn't want my son to be gay. She said, I'm a lot of, around a lot of gay people. My stylist is gay. My cousin is gay. Um, so here's my thing with that situation. Now I can understand, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can understand fully, you know what I'm saying? Somebody not wanting their child to be gay, you know what I'm saying? For one thing, um, and I feel like the LGBT community kind of sometimes jumps on people too quickly. Now she was wrong to say, here's what I, I look at it more from a black perspective because I'm not gay. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's not my community. That's not my cares to care about. You know, when I say I don't care about something, if it doesn't aff affect me or pertains to me, I don't care, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, if something, if somebody says, if somebody, if the video surfaces online or somebody punches somebody and running after they call them a fag, well, then, yeah, I'm going to say you're wrong for that shit or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? As long as I get the backstory of it and that person who got punched didn't do anything wrong prior to. You know what I'm saying? Um, I watch how to get, how to get away with murder. You know what I'm saying? I sit through the scenes with the, um, Connor and, uh, God damn. What is his damn name? God damn. Connor and, um, whatever the Asian boy's name, the two, the two gay men, you know what I'm saying? That they're, they're now married now, but you know what I'm saying? I sit through the scenes where they're getting intimate. You know what I'm saying? I'm secure in my masculinity. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of people, you know, say my voice is girly or whatever. But I understand what the situation is. I have my mom's genes. We look just alike. If you've seen both of us, you would understand why I sound like I sound, why I have the mannerisms that I have. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Do sometimes I sit there and be like, damn, I kind of wish I had a brother to even this shit out. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. I don't have to live for nobody but me. I don't have to sound how you want me to sound. You don't have to You don't have to listen to me talk or listen to my music. Or, you know, if you got an issue, sign out. Clock out. You know, just like I said, if you don't like me, don't care. You know what I'm saying? 
act like I'm not there. Hell, that's what I do with a lot of people. But with that being said, um, so I look at things as a black perspective first. You know what I'm saying? Because I am pro-black. You know what I'm saying? Unlike a lot of these other people. I'm truly pro-black. Pro black. If I say I'm not fucking with this person because what they did to my people, this commercial, I don't fuck with it. Moving on. So with that being said, I looked at it as, you know, a black thing. And I will say in the black community, homophobia is a very big issue. You know what I'm saying? It's very disgusting that this is not the first tweet, you know what I'm saying, to say I would beat the gay out of my son or the beat the, you know, shit out of him or I would beat him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I realize everybody's different, different strokes for different folks. Most people, when they have children, if they're not gay or especially if they have not come in contact, into contact, with people who are gay, you know, they don't imagine their son growing up to be with a boy or their girl growing up to be with a boy, girl. So especially if they're religious, you know, there's a lot of scenarios where that just doesn't come even come in their mind. And then sometimes, you know, they'll notice shit, you know, earlier on. And sometimes, especially mothers, they'll always be like, you know, a mother just knows, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes the children don't, you know, go through it or, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those people that will sit there. I can't tell you if people are born like that or if they'll choose it, you know what I'm saying? Because there are girls all the time who are like, oh, yeah, I've tried my hat, have my phone with girls or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, and there are some men who do it too. They may not say it, but you, trust me, some of y'all uncles been sleeping with, uh, some of y'all uncles did some things back in their days, and that's all I'm going to say. You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the family reunions. Them drunk family reunions, them drunk cookouts, they be revealing. But nonetheless, listen, you know, let me relax. You know, we ain't even gonna go there. But um, with that being said, um, sorry, I gotta re, we gotta relocate this laptop on top of this heating pad, cooling pad, whatever the fuck, so I can charge it. Cause I know when I try to update this shit, if it's on low battery, it's gonna take longer. But with that being said, um. So everybody has their past, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. I can't, I, I, I'm not here to have a conversation if you're born with it or if you're not. But I will say, some people don't know till later on in life when they're 20 or 21, you know. Or let's say they move out from home and then they come back and they're gay, you know what I'm saying. Or they found out they are gay, they are sexually attracted to the same sex. Or, you know, they have a love connection with the same, you know, sex. Because a sexual attraction and love attraction is two different things. But with that being said... Um, there's many scenarios, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, like I said, especially if they haven't come into contact with gay people, the last thing on their mind is, well, is our son going to end up with that? Unless they're that open-minded people. And like I said, more than likely have come into contact with them. So psychologically, that's just a thing. You know what I'm saying? If you never had the contact, had come in contact with a gay person or even a little flamboyant, like if all the men that you know in your life are straight up, you know, macho men, masculine, sweat, sports, whatever the fuck an average male is like. Same thing with the females, you know what I'm saying? Then you're definitely not, you know, when your child comes to you and says, I think I might be gay, you might not know how to take that. Unless you're just a naturally open-minded person yourself, you might not know how to take that. Now, I would hope that nobody would sit there and especially, and really for me, it was very disparaging to hear young Miami say that because you carried that child. That child came out of your twat. You know what I'm saying? For you to pick up something that, you know what I'm saying, was made out of love, you know, or whether it was made out of love or not, you know what I'm saying, and to beat it and attack it because it's different from everybody else, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I still listen to her music. You know what I'm saying? And I, the reason why I give her that little leeway is because she apologized if it offended anybody, but she did not apologize for feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the same as somebody saying, I apologize if I made you feel some way. There's a difference. There's a difference between that and apologizing if something offended anybody. You know what I'm saying? She was on the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club would get you very comfortable and have you saying some shit that you might not need to say. But hey, that's her opinion. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to think rationally that if her son did come to her one day and say he was gay or something, you know what I'm saying, before he ended up watching this interview, you know what I'm saying, uh, realistically, um, that she her first reaction would not be to just hit him and strike him, you know what I'm saying? But it may be, you know what I'm saying? And if it is, you know, at the end of the day, she's going to have to deal with, you know what I'm saying, um, if that does happen, you know what I'm saying, I'm not wishing this on her, I mean, I don't really care, but... 
if she do do that, she's going to have to put up with the resentment that he has towards her growing up. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's something to think about. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and I feel like this is why when it comes to family shit, like sometimes it's really just better not to talk about certain things. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, it's just very disparaging to, to see people do or say stuff and post stuff like that and not even have a second thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, who did you think this was going to make? You know what I'm saying? The only people that is going to like this or agree with this are assholes alike. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as I'm concerned, um, like I said, I look at things from a black perspective. But the whole, I also, you know, have a soft spot in my heart for children. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the most affectionate person. But, you know, don't fuck with the kids. That's how I feel. So for me, you know what I'm saying? He would have been canceled off of the one tweet the latest tweet or the the most recent tweet, you know what I'm saying, in comparison, the um tweet about beating the um basically beating the gay out of his son. That tweet and the um colorism tweet, you know what I'm saying? As far as the other ones, they were just kind of lame. Like they weren't really they they were they were lame, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. He thought he's being funny, whatever the fuck. But with that being said, I also, you know what I'm saying, I would have can I would have canceled my support from him for that, you know what I'm saying? As far as the Oscars is concerned, you know, I'm kind of out of the mood of us canceling people and trying to take them off of, you know, streaming services and this any other, you know, our people trying to take our people off of shit because of what they've done in the past when there are white people still doing us grimy to this day and we're not holding them accountable for shit. You know what I'm saying? You have the Harvey Weinstein's, hell, the damn president is a pussy patter. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of other shit going on. And I'm not saying that to say it like them to say, oh, there's bigger problems in the world. I'm just saying until, you know, they start getting their shit, you know what I'm saying, um, blown up and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, until they start holding their own accountable, it does kind of make you want to sit here and be like, why the fuck am I going so hard on my people? You know what I'm saying? You still got Harvey, Harvey Weinstein walking as a free man nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You still got um the man from Seven Heaven. You know what I'm saying? His show's still playing. Why the hell y'all got to take the Cosby's off there? You fucking with people's money. He is the main character, but all those other people had residuals too. And you, for two years, they wasn't getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Um, So I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 for me, it's it's a slippery slope to ride, you know what I'm saying? Do I believe that the Oscars, and, and, and I also feel like, you know what I'm saying, this society does try or does tend to put LGBT over race a lot. And I have noticed that a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying, when a lot of the LGBT community itself is racist, you know what I'm saying, or is colorist, or does use, you know, black women as, you know what I'm saying, especially like the men who like to dress up as women, you know what I'm saying? All the long, the, the white ones. I ain't even talking about the black ones. You know what I'm saying? The white ones, you know, the long ass nails, the the weaves and shit, you know, the colorful weaves and shit. And they use, they learn that from our dark skin men, straight and gay, who both do this shit. You know, you got the rapper on Love and Hip Hop who has the persona, quote unquote, the gimmick called Candy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in support of that shit. Not even because, and it has nothing to do with your sexuality. It has to do with the fact that you are a character of the quote-unquote ghetto hood black woman, whatever the fuck. When there's women in the hood, they can behave just as nicely and just as great, or uh, uh, just as graciously as a woman in the suburb, a black woman in the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? Same thing around. There's ratchet everywhere. So I, I don't like shit like that. The blame it on K-Ways, um, the, you know what I'm saying, the, um, that's really the only two I can think of by name. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so I've noticed that society do put them over, you know, race and colors a lot. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everything is equally, you know, or well, nah, I feel like race and colors will hold a certain place. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so for me, it would have been those two tweets more than likely that would have made me, you know what I'm saying? Be like, okay, you cancel. But as far as going to remove him as the Oscar from the host or the host from the Oscars, you know what I'm saying? I believe that's a bit much, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when Harvey Weinstein starts losing producer credits or something, then we can talk, you know what I'm saying? When Trump gets kicked out of the chair, then we can talk, 
you know, but I'm not going to sit here and hold my people's feet to the fire for shit that they've apologized for when you have your president still touching on his daughter. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't apologized for that shit. He ain't get prosecuted for that shit. So, no, I'm not going to sit here and sign that fucking change thing about Bill Cosby. No, I'm not going to sit here and fucking chastise Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? Other than for what I believe, personally, he did wrong. I would never beat my child over something as simple as their sexuality. Do I have to repicture how it will be growing up, you know, with my me, them not being able to have kids and shit? You know what I'm saying? Naturally? you know, Yes. But, I mean... Hey, it, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe, I don't like shit like that being said, you know what I'm saying, as far as that goes. Okay, so um, that's pretty much how I feel on that topic, you know what I'm saying? Um, punish people, and if we are going to punish everybody, and then punish them, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, the right reasons. And then if they apologize, let the shit go, move on. It's the same with the Rihanna and Chris Brown shit. They've done shit together since then. Leave him alone. She forgave him. So why the fuck is you still mad? You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, um, next I want to move on to the last topic. So I want to talk about little mama. Like I, I was on the phone yesterday with, um, Darren. And, um, when I tell y'all, um, uh, oh, for those of y'all who don't know him, that name, about him, that name, Young Papa, the one who I did the motorsport feature or motorsport, um, remix with um so and we got some more stuff coming up too but with that being said um with that being said I just um I was on the phone and I had to tell him to hush for a second because little mama was going off and she added she had masa when I seen what she said I, I was like oh my god okay let me stop I need you to shut up real quick so I can hear this shit let me tell you, she read him while she was reading her mail. That was so elegant. I just, that was amazing. And then New York came out of her. You're bugging, son. You're bugging. Like, and you need to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, that shit was, it was giving me all types of fucking life. And I was like, let me go see what Shad Moss did to, well, let me see what Shad did to go put her in such a dis, you know, disposition. You know what I'm saying? But. Because this is little mama, you know, my lip gloss is cool, my lip gloss is popping. And even then, you know what I'm saying, we know her since a kid, but now she's going by her birth name, Natia, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, uh, this the side of Natia we ain't seen before, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I, I was finna go look, but I didn't have to. She explained the whole thing, and apparently on the show Growing Up in Hip Hop Atlanta or whatever the fuck, which I've been trying to watch this shit, you know, because I fuck with Johnny Blaze Heavy and I fuck with little mama. And I fuck with Deb, too. But with that being said, um, apparently on one of the episodes, he was talking to this dude named BT, and he told him, oh, you fucking with little Mama? Oh, yeah, you're going to hit that in like a week or something like that. And she was snapping. You know, she snapped on his ass. And then he also said something about her girl beating her ass, her his girl beating her ass. But then I think, I, I guess the girlfriend came back and reset it or said she would beat little Mama ass or something like that. Cause little mama checked that too. And she said, before we even talk about me fighting a girl, let's talk about the fact that I will smack the shit out of you. Ah! She was talking to Shad Bow Wow. For those of y'all who don't know that shit was fucking, she checked him. Like she read him like a book from start to finish. I don't even know. Like, bruh, that shit was fucking hilarious. I cannot. Um, so my views on this, I, I think that, you know, I look at, you know, Shad Moss in the same way I look at, you know, like some of these other cats that came in the game when they were really young, you know, like the Ushers, you know what I'm saying? The Orlando Browns, you know what I'm saying? And it really shows you like, yeah, it's fun to be a childhood, you know, it's, it's fun to, you know, have that dream and, you know, want to be famous in the childhood, um, or to have that, you know, childhood dream of being a childhood star. You know what I'm saying? For some of us, it may happen. For some, it may not. But, um, or it may happen later. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, it's it's fun at all. You know what I'm saying? To envision that. You know what I'm saying? And to live that lifestyle. But for some people, it's for them. And for some people, it's not for some people. You know what I'm saying? And you can very tell that that's obvious. 
Shad Moss being one of the biggest not for them. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's not just singularly his fault on a psychological level. You know what I'm saying? Like Usher, you know what I'm saying? With the fact that they pushed him to be so sexual at a young age with his music. You know what I'm saying? And kind of turned him into a whore. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying, the Orlando Browns, you know what I'm saying, him being, you know, I, I can't, I don't know about his story too much, you know what I'm saying, but obviously, as y'all can see, something fucked him up along the way, you know what I'm saying, all these, y'all hear all these stories of these childhood stars ending up on drugs and shit, and while I can say, you know, Bow Wow doesn't have that going on, he definitely has a whore mentality, you know what I'm saying, a man whore mentality when it comes to women, you know, he's still act, out here, he's 30 years old with a whole ass daughter, if I'm not mistaken, acting like a man you know what i'm saying and uh, or acting like a boy you know what i'm saying and i've talked about this i was talking about this actually with my friend dana earlier how you know what i'm saying and it didn't help that a lot of the music he was putting out was like player music when he was young and i still see people to this day dapping him up somehow he was 14 talking about some i don't even want um i don't want the fame or something i just want the money and something like that he got some song that's like that you know what i'm saying and you know um, back then, you know, it, it was, you know, it's the responsibility of those older men in hip hop. It was the responsibility of them and those older men around him who should have been the corrective, you know, not father figure, but father like figure for him around him. So everybody takes a little fault. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's like Charlemagne talks about with the whole rape culture situation, how we okay, or we set men up or boys up at a young age to be pretty much man whores. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen this shirt of, um, it said, um, player. Like, like little boys' shirts that say shit like player and ladies' man. You know what I'm saying? I would never buy that for my damn son. Like, and then y'all sit here, and you know what I'm saying? You have ba the Bow Wows of the world, the futures, you know what I'm saying? And the one thing that's so fucking sad, I think I brought this up on one of the other podcasts, that I never want to have to be able to say is, I don't want to have a daughter because I don't want to have to put up with what I put women through. I try never to be a man like that. I do think that I talked about this before on another podcast, but when I tell y'all, I, I never want to be the man that has to say that. I want to be the man that's okay, that knows that me and my wife have taught my daughter the right procedures, you know, when going out with a boy. I'm not going to be one of those, I, I want to try my best not to be one of those dads who's like, you can't date till you're 30. Or, you know, this, that, and the other. You know, um, me and my neighbor, they she has kids. Um, she's married and stuff. They've talked, or, you know, I've talked to them about, like, well, what's your process for stuff? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Um, just wondering, you know, this, that, and the other. And she was like, um, they can date when they're old enough to drive. You know what I'm saying? They have, um, uh, when they're old enough to drive. And so I was like, you know what? That's pretty sensible. You know what I'm saying? And, um... So, um, that's probably when I'm going to set myself, I'm not going to sit here and do the boy where one way where he can date at fucking 14 and the girl can't date till she's 18. We're not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do my child like that or children like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to trust that I've showed her the right ways to go about things and the right things and the right, you know, at least as many red flags as I can think of on both genders of children. You know what I'm saying? Because I do, I'm hoping for one boy and one girl, and then I'll be done. That's it. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, um, I don't do all that gender bias shit. And that's one thing where we go wrong. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's one place where we have failed Bow Wow, is him coming up in the industry. We supported that shit. You know what I'm saying? All the ladies' man music and player music that he had at a, and was doing at a young age. You know what I'm saying? And we were dapping that shit up. And now we have a grown-ass man boy on our hands. You know what I'm saying? But some of that shit, he also need to grow out, on, grow out of on his own. You know what I'm saying? So we were talking about that and how we're kind of, not weird like the whole world, but you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Those who supported him when he was younger. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really got in his ear and said, okay, bro, this is how you do this. You know, you, you can't be talking about women like this. You shouldn't be, you know, especially at a young age. You know what I'm saying? It's very disparaging to watch, you know what I'm saying, some of his younger performances and stuff. But Nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Little mama ain't give a fuck about none of that, bruh. She was, she was, you know, she checked him, period. You know what I'm saying? And I was here for all of it. This shit was amazing. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Is this, is this a little mama? Oh, shit. So, with that being said, and then he came back and said something on Instagram. Uh, 
um, or like under the shade room or something like that, and just laugh, try to just a little boy shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like I said, you gotta um, you gotta just when you do wrong, man up and own up to your shit. You know what I'm saying? And all these little boys out here, these, you know, um, I look at this like I look at this situation with the whole Soldier Boy K Michelle situation. When the ladies asked, um, the lady asked everybody, you know, would they bang K Michelle? And he kind of snickered or laughed like a little boy as if, um, you know what I'm saying, they had already fucked or whatever. You know, it's just childish. You know what I'm saying? It's not fucking cute. You know what I'm saying? You're not in your crank that days no more. You know what I'm saying? It's little bow, bow wow. You're not little bow wow no more. You just bow wow. You know what I'm saying? You're not in your like you days no more. Like, grow the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Um, I understand them growing up young. It all plays, all them stuff plays a factor, but you got to move on and you got to grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of us having to raise grown boys. You know what I'm saying? Or having to look at people, you know, go through life as grown boys it's very disheartening to see you know what i'm saying but nonetheless um hopefully uh they can work their shit out and um yeah i will definitely be watching to see um but with that being or uh, well i mean we were well i mean i'll be watching on the internet because she caught that on the show so whatever's going on on the show was already recorded months ago but i will be seeing on the internet i definitely you know i already follow little mama before if i didn't before i would have now but i already follow her before i definitely fuck with her and she got some real bars yo you know what i'm saying like y'all y'all be sleeping on little mama she got bars for real and most of the songs she and most of the songs like 90 percent of she don't even be cussing so, you know, y'all definitely go check out, hell, check out her 4 a.m. and Calabasas Freestyle, the Drake beat. Y'all go check that shit out, and y'all tell me she don't have no fucking bars. You be lying. You be lying if you can. But with that being said, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say on all these topics. Thank y'all for tuning in to the prologue. I will see y'all next for my Podbean peoples. I will see y'all on the official you know what I'm saying? Season two reboot. And um, just so y'all know, the episode's 99 cent episode. Not much. It's like piece of bubblegum or whatever. Um, I may come back because I remember doing the um video yesterday or whenever about the Ice Cube new album. I may come back and do a review of that. If I do it for YouTube, I will try my best to remember to put it on Podbean. You know what I'm saying? So it'll just be the quote unquote 11th episode. And, you know, um, that's pretty much all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Sorry for this episode being so long. Y'all know certain topics, you know, they be getting to me and stuff. So I be having to get that shit out. But that's why y'all here. You know what I'm saying? This is Tyson's Corner. So y'all know. Sit your ass down and listen <laughs> um, to a smart, young, charming, witty artist musician, writer, songwriter, rapper, singer, lyricist, MC in the making. Let me just, let me, let me not relax. I'm telling the truth. I'm just saying the EP is fire and that's my mixtape. I pretty much bodied everybody's beats better than they did. I'm just saying. All right, let me relax though for real, even though I'm telling the truth. <laughs> But yeah, I will catch y'all on the official reboot of season two. And for my YouTube people, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Y'all have a great night.